Isn't that so pretty? The gingerbread houses. Cute, huh? <laughs> so this morning's or today's mission at the at home store is to find a toy chest for all of Chloe's stuff. I kind of want a wicker one, I kind of want a wood one, kind of just depends on what we see in here. So we are now on a hunt. These actually look like something I just saw on Amazon but did not want to pay a ton of money. Sometimes you can get a better deal in here. Yeah, see the one on Amazon was like, these are 70, the one on Amazon was what, 90 something? And the wicker didn't look as strong or as good as quality. <clears throat> that one's okay. This one's actually a little bit smaller, huh? How much are these? Oh. These are 50. Yeah. I'm gonna put it on the ground and see how high up it will be so I can get an idea. I'll get it. I didn't want you to. I was gonna put the camera down. I don't know if that will be too low to the ground for the apartment because this is gonna be like in the corner with Chloe's stuff on it. You wanna sit on there? Well, this, we're trying to find something to put your toys in. So this is a maybe. Let's keep keep looking, I think. I don't know. While we're looking, I actually like this set, this black and kind of wicker look. It's really nice. And the coffee mugs are super cute. Oh, they always drink out of the same one. <laughs> so it would be pointless buying them. So over in the home organization section, they have these. These are so nice. And I can actually, this would be kind of cute sitting in the corner, wouldn't it? Just with the toys in it. I, I didn't want something like this so much, so. Just kind of sitting in my living room because space is an issue for us right now and i just think throwing that it already looks kind of like i mean obviously a kid lives there but it just kind of looks like you know a lot of toys kind of thrown in the mix for me i like a little bit more organization so i think that's something that kind of blends in more with the furniture the home decor and it kind of masks or camouflages the toys being there would be great and she's not really playing with her um kitchen set right now so she's not really playing with the kitchen set, but she plays with all of the toys on top of it. That plus her, so she's getting a bike for Christmas. She, we're gonna have a bike and her what electronic, her battery operated go? car in the apartment too, since we don't have anywhere else to put it. So I kind of just want something to make everything look a little bit more cohesive. So it's not just like toys everywhere. I actually like this, you guys, this is 50 bucks. And this would be nice like to go in the living room in the corner and just put all her toys in there like that. She can easily get them in and out without worrying about her having to open up anything or close her fingers in anything in the hinges. I don't know. I'm liking this. It's 50 bucks. I'm going to grab this one just because it's the only one here. But we'll keep looking. I'm just going to grab that one for now. And it kind of matches my colors in the living room too. Came back and put them side by side they're actually both the same price this one is a little bit longer this one's a little bit deeper but they're both 50 bucks and this one does have a top to it even though I'm not worried about her closing her fingers in this I mean it's not like it would hurt as bad as if it were wood or something I don't know I like this one even though it doesn't have a top to it but I do like that one because it does have a top to it and I just don't know which one to go with what do you think mom I just feel like this matches more of the gray and black and white. This is brown. Mm, mm. Decisions, decisions. Help, help. You don't need help. Just put your feet back down. She's been screaming for help for nothing. <laughs> All right, so it's just before 11 and we're getting ready to have a very early lunch. Um, so I did end up getting one of those storages for her toys. Which one do you guys think I got? Drop me a comment down below and let me know which one you think I ended up going with. Um, so anyways, we're going to try this place. I don't know if you guys... Is, like, is Ari Gaga's and Caboogles, are those things like chain restaurants? They're chain restaurants, right? Yeah. Well, anyways, if you guys know what Ari Gaga's or Caboogles are, they're like Japanese steakhouses. So there is like a... I don't know. Like a... <laughs> what do you call it? Like they're, they're the same... There's a smaller restaurant that's not quite a steakhouse, but it's part of Ari Gatos. It's called Little Ow. Chloe. Quit dropping stuff. It's called Little Ari's. Um, anyways, we've never been there, but we're going to try it out today. 
and we kind of just wanted some Chinese or Japanese food, whatever. So we kind of wanted that instead of our usual Mexican meal for lunch today. And we are here. They're opening in about three minutes. Like I said, it's an early lunch for us. But we're hungry. And we'll see you guys when we get inside. So good, you guys. I got hibachi shrimp and chicken and some rice. Their fried rice has some corn in it. Chloe got kids hibachi chicken and rice and a grape juice. And this is so cute. They actually give them little pokey um, chocolate sticks. I've never tried them. I know she can't wait to try that, but you gotta eat your food. You gotta eat your food before you can get that. That's your snack, okay? And I have my sweet tea. My sauce, I got white sauce and there's sriracha. You ready to eat? eat. This is not where it's going to be permanently, but hi. Hi. So this is the one I went with, and as you can see, it matches everything. So we just kind of reorganized the side closet here, took the tree out because we're going to put that up. It's going to be right here in this corner, and I had moved Cookie's cage from here to like I had it slid up in this corner here and I had like her kitchen set right there and it was just too much going on like she had some of her toys on the floor some of them on the kitchen set some of them back here where I have her car kind of like tucked away because she, when she's not driving it which is not often um so yeah it was just stuff everywhere and just like I said with the small apartment space I don't really have many options. We tried to move this chair over here, but it was just not working um, as far as how to rearrange the furniture because I was thinking when she gets her bike for Christmas, we could put it out there on the patio. But like I said, it just, the furniture did not, we, we can't. And I don't have anywhere else to put the TV. No other TV connections up in here to move anything else around. So it kind of is gonna have to be the way it is. When the tree comes down after Christmas, we're just gonna have her bike in the corner, you know hopefully next year we'll be in a bigger space <laughs> so that just looks even there it doesn't look bad if I have to just leave it there but yeah if I have to I can just tuck it away back in this corner we can just slag it out whenever we need to get in there because I just really have like um uh, the vacuum cleaner ironing board and stuff in there and some of my brother's stuff but that's pretty much it so I think we're going to pick up this Christmas Chloe pick up this Christmas tree I'm sure cookies happy her house is back <laughs> where it originally was aren't you cook cook yeah and I'm already hot I'm still Mommy, full Mommy. yes Chloe mm -hmm. a ah, ah, ah. And I did not vlog us putting up the tree. It was a start and stop project. It doesn't look too bad. No real theme here, just ornaments we've collected over the years growing up. Like you'll see some of my brother's um, karate things up here. And <laughs> Chloe tried to help. Um, this is like a godchild. You can see on here, this one says 1997. I don't know if it's focusing. Like some of them we got from most of them, like my godmother, when she gives or gave a Christmas gift, she would put an ornament on them. Um, some of them now, the more newer, are ones that Cristiano made in school or at church. If you see a butterfly, that's likely mine. Um, but yeah, and then some of my lights on this pre-lit tree, the lights went out across the middle. So I did have, or happen to have a couple extra boxes of lights. So we just filled it in with that, but that's there cookie's happy she's back in her spot and for now chloe's toys are right there and you want your rice 
You are not down for a nap yet. You want some rice? Yeah. I got hot and itchy and ended up putting on the t-shirt I had on um, yesterday. It's clean. I'm going to wash the, the laundry, but I ended up just changing into my t-shirt. It's warmed up a great deal outside, so I'm definitely in for the day. Um, I don't think we're, we're going to be doing anything else. You want to eat this rice? You going to sit up here? Yeah. Okay. Well, come pick everything up here. Let me wash this cup. You drink everything. All right, let me get her some more food because you know Chloe never finishes all of her food while we're eating. That's her leftovers from lunch. And um, she's gonna finish eating some of that. She really liked it though, just didn't eat it all. And it was actually a lot for a kid's plate. So at least she has leftovers. All right guys, it is several hours later. It's dark outside. You can see the tree and it's lights. It looks so nice. Chloe woke up uh, from her nap a little while ago and she's in a cranky mood, so I'm gonna leave her alone. But I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. I'll probably edit some tonight. It might not go up until um, probably tomorrow with it being Wednesday already uh, since I just uploaded it yesterday. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. I hope you guys liked it. Be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already a part of the family. Leave me some love down below and I will see you in the next video. Bye.